Don't you find it amusing how Nuka-Cola bottle caps are now used as currency? I guess I'd better go take care of that shooting out there. So today we're going to be taking a look at, well, the one, the black powder rifle. And there's a good example of it. All right, so the black powder rifle and we are also going to be doing the laser rifle and they're both bloodied that's going to be our main damage adder not none today i think he managed to do some damage over here there should be a guard post here let's go ahead and fix that real quick there we go good for him all right So the black powder rifle, the one that I have is going to be, like I said, bloodied. The VATS critical hits do 50% more damage, so that's important. I'm a VATS build, VATS critical build. Um, plus one perception, which is always nice. Um, it's got pretty good range at 395, so the added perception for the VATS is going to be good. You don't want to miss shots with this either because the reload is going to be your main downfall from this. And previously we did do an instigating black powder pistol. And the damage with that one is double damage if target is at full health and again the, uh, the bat's critical. So um, what we did is we would load up a that's critical with our ever gun switch to it and have to find a target which was already a full health and then we would get the double damage and that's critical the difference here is that we the target does not need to be at full health in order to get the the benefit we don't get an extra hundred percent damage you know we don't get double damage automatically however we get up to 95 percent extra damage so 195% damage if we are low health, low enough health. So not too bad, I feel like this is more, um, what's the word for it? It is more consistent in the damage. You can run around and um, do whatever you need to do. You, the target doesn't need to be at full health. You can take a shot, duck under cover, take another shot, it's not a problem. And again, like um, another problem with this, you don't get a silencer put on. You can't shove a uh, an oil filter on the end of it. You know, like you can on the uh, pipe uh, weapons. And you also don't get a sight. So we have good range, but I know for a fact usually there's a couple of enemies down there. There's usually a couple of enemies over here too, but they're just out of the. Um, the pop in range to where they would pop in regularly. So that could be an issue. But um, this gun is fun with um, the. I just woke up and I think you can tell. This gun is fun on like events, especially against the Scorch Beast Queen. Um, you can just load up a VATS critical on smaller enemies or, or the Scorch Beast Queen, whatever. Flip to this, take a shot and just keep doing that, just keep going back and forth with it. And so the other weapon that we're going to be using to either load up our VATS criticals or just uh, let it run is going to be the bloody laser rifle we have here. Now this one, plus 250 damage while reloading, the reload's not that bad, it's fine. Um, I used to time it to where I would reload if I got pushed so like uh, melee enemies running up to me and I don't get to kill it in time quickly hit reload and then like tank the damage but um, maybe that's a little bit too much fiddling around for you and that's criticals do 50% extra damage so that's good uh, 
The main downside to this is, again, it's not going to be silenced. There's no silencers for this. And also, it has good range, but the, um, the vets that we're going to be using, the lore is it was optimized for ballistics. And the problem with that is you do not get, um, it takes up a lot of vets usage per shot. So you can't stay in vets forever using this gun. Um, so really the question is like, is it, does it hit hard enough for it to be worth using a laser rifle or are you better off using ballistics? It depends like how much you want to use the, um, you know, vats in general. Um, you can use this without, and it's fine. I do tend to go for the vats criticals though. So with that out of the way, we should probably check what our deities are. I don't think they're too hard to do. Could have scorched, that's easy enough. Scrub junk to produce acid. You know, I've gone over this one in a couple of different videos, how to do that easily. I might as well do that again right now. So what we will do is Scrap that that we just made. Go over here. And we will bulk one acid. Which gives us one bulk acid. And then when we scrap that bulk acid, that should make the five acid that we need. There we go, pretty easy. Or you can go pick up fertilizer and all the rest of it, but I mean this is such an easy easy way to do things. Ah, I need to drink something and get my rads back to where they should be. How about a new Kokoda? There you go. Oh, I thought I had a friend here. Kill some Scorched, kill a Gnoring creature, we will probably run into that, we'll run into stim packs and cams, compete in the event. So, kill a Scorched. This area is probably going to be the easiest, the Morgantown station and all that. Um, Morgantown itself, good for ghouls, and the airport is good for the Scorched. So, hmm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to run over there. Probably going to be 76. Unless we want to run through Mananga on the way, kill some, kill some stuff. Let's do that. It'll be more interesting. If I go to 76, the problem is that there's really nothing there and I'll be just be running the whole time. It'll be kind of boring. We'll take a little trip here. There should be some uh, super mutants on the way too. Oh, maybe it's mall miners. I think it's uh, mall miners. Either way. We'll get some tankier enemies to shoot. Aster is kind of rare, you don't see it very much. I should try to remember that. My memory is pretty terrible though.
Do I have any Nuka Wild? Sure do. There you go. It gives me some health back. Gives me some more AP. There they are. Mole people. Alright, let's see here. Try to keep some distance. Two shot kill. Um, no criticals on that one. But we do have one load up, loaded up. Looks like he's going the long way around here. 2,500 one shot. So yeah, these two weapons, I thought this is probably going to be like one of the more fun showcases for me. These are both pretty good weapons. I like running around with them. Three shots on that one. Heart of the Swamp. Maybe we could do that one. Let me go get one more kill. Maybe we can get it from a decent distance here. So only 1400 in that one. Oh, we still have the Vets Critical for some reason. See, 48. Let's see if that Perception helps. Switch to our other weapon. 19. Do this. 77, 48. So yeah, not too bad. Again, it looks like 2500 for the Vets Critical. For some reason, the, the crit just does not go off when you want it to. I don't know why. I'm holding down triangle, so it should. Regular shot. 1400. Still hits plenty hard enough. But the reload, again. Up to you. Um, if you don't mind the reload, this weapon is great. I would much rather run around with this than the Assaultron Head, for example. It just feels like the Assaultron Head is way, way more annoying to um, to keep charging up. If it was like Fallout 4, where it charged up pretty quickly, it wouldn't be too bad, but... Okay, what are you? Again, the crit didn't go, I don't know why. Let's go try that um, part of the swamp event. There's quite a few people. So this one might be more interesting in that we're going to have a whole bunch of Mirelurks. They like to get up close and give you a little pinch. They obviously don't have guns, so they're going to be melee attackers, and we it is highly suggested that you use vets and shoot them in the face. Um, you're not going to do very much damage otherwise, so that will be a challenge for us. Attention, this is Raleigh Clay on a priority message recording. A strangler heart's been picked up in the vicinity and it's fine and was a miss at 95%, that's too bad. Almost, almost a one hit kill on these guys. And they're generally pretty tanky, so that's not bad. Something 
coffee. Get our AP back. Okay, I have a crit loaded up here. Only 120, huh? I have a feeling the crit didn't go off. There we go, 761. So again, like right now, I feel like just sticking to the laser is probably going to be a better idea, honestly. Like more consistent DPS. Save me there. Guess hoping for a railroad, but seven of these isn't great. Don't want that. I could sell these. I'm almost at 30,000 caps, so eh, I'll drop it. Normally I would take that invite, but since we are broadcasting and I'm talking to myself, again, like same thing I mentioned before. But uh, yeah, not bad weapons. Um, it's not as efficient as it could be in VATS, like I mentioned, but I mean, like, it still hits pretty hard. And if you have the coffee maker, all you have to do is pop a coffee and your AP regens pretty quickly. Like right now I'm running, it's going down. I'll just do one of these. And I hear something behind me. There you go, my AP's back. And notice it's not even draining either. Because even though I'm using my AP, and usually um, when you're using AP, that means that it can't regenerate. You're either reusing it or regenerating. The coffee does not act that way. It will keep regenerating even when you are using it, which is pretty nice. So in the case of vats, if I wanted to do like five or ten coffees or something all at once like I would never run out of AP which is pretty nice and I do go that far with my commando build I will just chug a whole bunch of coffee and just stay in vats like all day long with my quad uh, railway gun pretty fun <clears throat> however on riflemen you are not uh, you don't tend to take that many shots, so I don't feel like it's quite as useful, but it's still useful. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I shouldn't have put it that way, but um, I just don't feel the need to. Um, Rifleman is a more chill build. You're not going for raw DPS all the time. Speaking of which, the railway probably going to be next, I think. And that one is going to be interesting because um, most of the time you do want quad. If you're going with commando and it's fully automatic, those 10 bullets, those 10 railway spikes go really fast. However, with riflemen, you know, placing your shots, it can be, um, it can be good. And I'm actually using ultrasight where with spikes too. However, I feel like I'm talking about the wrong gun. So. Oh, three shots. Oops.
If you haven't given the uh, the days of weapons a shot, I definitely feel like you should. Is there a cooking station here? Might as well get that weight down a little bit. Eight pounds for popcorn. Pretty amazing when you think about it. Potato juice, max AP, if I remember right. I wasn't paying attention. Star Ganguinus. Hey, still one hit kill. Seven twenty body shot, which is still a kill. So yeah, both of these are fun. The the black powder, obviously, like I wouldn't run around with it. If someone gets a bigger cut than you, something's up. So watch your back. Okay. I think one of the questions that I see often is that could you use the black powder rifle as your main gun? And um, I told those scavengers to hand it over. Not my fault they didn't want to listen. I got legendary. I think you could. It would definitely be like a, a slower play style. Um, I think that might get annoying after a while, especially with how many enemies that throw at you at one time. Um, it would just take you like 10 minutes to empty out of the zone. Whereas, you know, a commando would just, <laughs> wouldn't even need to stop running, basically. Like they would just sprint through the whole thing, spraying bullets everywhere and never get it done. And you would just be sitting there, like, taking one single shot every, you know, like, what is it, five, seven seconds, maybe? I don't feel like I come here very much, so maybe I'll check it out. Oh, oh it's this place. I didn't recognize that right there. Interested in seeing a box made that work? 
one of these days I'm gonna send a Mr. Killmaster out there with nothing but <clears throat> This is where one of the events is at, which is why I recognize it. And since I am here, I figured I would show you where a chainsaw could spawn. Always useful. This lead pipe could be a chainsaw. In this case, it wasn't. But just keep coming back. I mean, if you need a... Oops, got too close. If you need a chainsaw, you know, you can always just come over here and check every once in a while. If you make it here before everybody else when the event's going on, just, you know, run back over here. Good enemy. That's pretty rare. You usually don't get those in uh, in one hit. Something for a headshot. Not gonna lie, but. see him. Whatever. There you go. I'll wait for you. Okay, here we go. See, not, not too bad near in the ground, but not too bad even outside of that, right? I think that's pretty good. Five hundred from that distance. I don't th I don't think I went over the range for these. Um, it was three ninety five for the black powder, two ten for this one. Which, I mean, the gauze rifle is 186. Granted, it's got the uh, Saturn saw on it, but I still don't even think it's uh, that high without it. Um, what is it? The lever action 189. That's got a silencer on it, too. What doesn't have a silencer on it? 204. Anyway, pretty good range out of the laser. It's, it's not bad at all. Now what I haven't done is a laser sniper. Maybe that would be interesting. A lot of people um, don't recommend it though. I think it's just better to uh, take multiple shots. I would be down to try though. I did try the... Um, the last episode we did was the handmade with ultrasight rounds and 10 shots. Um, it was not worth it because you can just switch out the mag and it will be 25. Which I kept on saying it was because I primed it to use Ultrasight. And that's why I got the 10 rounds. I was mistaken on that. I just don't want to redo the whole video. It was pretty good overall. Minus that one mistake. But uh, yeah, more rounds faster is usually better. Unless you can kill stuff in like one, one or two hits. Like the black powder. That's one problem with the jetpack. Like I was saying in, a, in another episode, um, when you fall from a certain height, it just does not matter like how lightly you touch the ground. Right? It it will still like take it out of you. Um, who knows what will happen? Let's just take these because I'm tired of carrying them around. I need health though.
thought like maybe we could do some sniping from here. Ooh, we missed an 80% shot. Ouch. See, that's the problem with this thing. If you miss your shot, and then they start running towards you, you're kind of in trouble. And because of the fact it's not silenced, they probably will come towards you. I do have adrenaline too, so after each kill I get a little bit more extra damage, as long as I stay in vets. See right there, I didn't even ask for the critical and it still gave it to me. I haven't even touched the critical button. See, can we even see, see, I can't even see the person. Try that again. Okay, third time's a charm. There we go. And 14, 50 cow balls. Back to 100 uh, of the rounds for this. I'm not going to call them balls. Oh, I guess we should probably help them, huh? Oops. Who's... Uh, I'm confused. Stimpak, which is the daily if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes they fight over these and there's a broken um, extractor here, but if you're careful enough, there you go. You can sell mine out of it. If you look carefully enough, it'll give you the prompt. I need some new clothes. I'm getting real muddy. Foundation and those bums up at the crater just don't get along. They want to take everything we work on. What happened to this guy? Hmm. It's also not too hard to get mods for this uh, for this weapon. Um, a lot of people run around with laser pistols and you know laser rifles. All you have to do is collect them, break them down, and you get the mods for it eventually. And the black powder rifle really doesn't have any mods unless you want to bayonet on the end of it, which uh, to me it just adds weight. Nobody uses bash anyway. I mean, nobody that I know anyway. We did experiment with that um, before too because the handmade had an extra 50% bash. So I figured if it was only using 10 rounds, if they got up close to you, you could just bash them. And the bash is okay, it stumbles them, they get knocked backwards, you know. So that's a thing. I mean, you could use it, it's just most of the time I don't remember to, to be honest. Kill a Scorched. Thought I heard somebody behind me. This might be a short episode, I don't know. I mean, for sure, I think by now you get a good impression of uh, these two guns. Again, highly recommend. whether you're a rifleman or... Okay, the laser rifle, um, rifleman or commando, I would recommend. Um, 
I would obviously not recommend the uh, black powder if you're commando because you're not specced for it. But that is one nice thing about the rifleman. You do get a couple of um, fun little toys to play around with. I guess I might be interested in seeing if you attach a bayonet to this and you're running bloodied. And you start bashing people with it, like is it is it good enough to use that way? I mean like my guess is probably not, but this is a pretty good distance. Isn't that guy like just sleeping? Yeah. There should be some scorch at the school here. See, they like to go to your side there. I mentioned that before. I think I'm paranoid. I keep hearing stuff behind me. Like footsteps. Wiki wiki. Okay, was that high or low? I'm having trouble telling here. Let's go a little lower. Okay, that was low. Let's line it up with the sights here. They turn to red. So those iron sights... Ooh, ouch. That's not great, is it? No wonder I wasn't hitting my headshot earlier. That's good to know. The iron sights don't line up. Not a good thing. Maybe there's ballistic drop to the rounds too. Um, I mean, there certainly would be in real life, but um, I'm not sure that's a thing in this game. So let's try something here. Um, let's aim at the A here inside the little triangle. See, I think it should be right there, right between those two posts. No, that's low. It's unfortunate. So all the more reason to use bats with that thing, I think. Unless you want to just do a body shot, which uh, we've already proven it can do that. It can be pretty effective that way.
Right, the cap stash is usually here. It's not here today. Hmm. I feel like going to the tattoo shop. Something else I mentioned on, on another stream, there's the Addictol, which is here, which is very good to have. You don't want addictions, unless you do want addictions <laughs> for the legendaries. And there's also Medex, which um, it buffs your defense, so you don't take as much damage. Also good to have. Starting to connect too much right away here, isn't it? There's one here. Can be a medex here. A dick doll is right here. Some more medex. So yeah, this should definitely be um, on your go-to list. I feel like. Um, just because the medex, you can always pop one right before going into an event or something. And a magazine right here. Mm, nuclear back here, but I don't need it. This is aluminum, I'm pretty sure. So 2,500 or 2,500 out of a crit shot with the uh, black powder rifle and honestly it ends up being about 2,500 to about like maybe 3,000 with the pistol with the double damage and a crit shot. Um, so again I think um, that dude is more consistent but it's also nice getting that extra damage without like, I mean look at my health, right? It's nice to just get that without um, being on the verge of dying all the time. Um, register my hits, please. And I will say, generally, I don't take such slow measured shots. I'll just spray like two or three rounds towards them and call it done. But since I'm trying to show these off, let's speed things up a little bit and see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
Good song. <sighs> Is it a one hit kill for the Penji board? It is. And I didn't miss it even though the um <laughs> the iron sights are up. Could be a fusion core there, not today. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Speed, demon serum, always good. Moves faster, reload faster. Good to have. A bloodied pole hook. Next episode. Plus one strength. 316 damage. Not too shabby. But uh, no, I don't think so. Ooh, look at this. That is worth money. Take it. Did I read that right? Do I have? Okay, I don't need AC and Super Stun Packs. Now, while supplies are available. Probably don't need that many of these. Um, Be sure to stop. Yeah, sure. Uh, so one of them. You can I think I have too many Rataways too. Uh, yeah. Speed Demon Serum, I'll sell that for a couple bucks. Don't face the wasteland. Uh, I could sell the Stealth Voice too. 62 Stimpaks, I am good on that. I do not need that many. Um, I made a few of those in case I run into a lower level and I can help them out. The diffusers 
Well, they diffuse health. That's kind of what they do. They will heal people next to you. You have to stand right next to them now. All right, what's left? Complete a daily up. No thanks. Kill all three cryptids. I mean, uh, no thanks. I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, do I even still have the cold shoulder? I do. I feel like putting that away. So, really, I think that's going to do it for um, the showcase for these weapons. I um, feel like I did a pretty good job showing um, how they work and everything. I'm going to go sell that Speed Demon Serum. I'm going to put away the Cold Shoulder. I'll just keep streaming. If anybody wants to keep watching. But, um... If I'm here or not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna slow down my pace from what I usually do. Even this, honestly, I just don't want to deal with the uh, load screens. I figured I'd walk through uh, the railroad tracks, see if there's anything to see on the way. Might be fun to do a um, a build with that, with these right here. Uh, let's see if no drugs will be good enough. Okay, critical. I got the hit on him, I got the hit marker. I got the critical. But he disappeared, that should have been a... Uh, I don't know if it would have been a one hit kill, but uh... That should have messed him up pretty bad. I don't think I was meant to fight him. I wish I would make the Night Starker. This is so bright. You could totally get in there and build a camp out of it. Make a little hidden room out of it if you wanted to. Is there honey down here? There is. Well, honey is good for AP regen. It's a little heavy, but what food isn't, I guess. Uh oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> In fact, let's try out that honey right now. Quite as good as the uh, coffee, right? But not bad. Too rich to throw away a friend, right?
Let's do seven 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 for good luck. It's a good this is a good mutation to have. There you go. Mm, I'll keep the stealth boys on me just for fun, I guess. You know what? I'll take some milk. Like you like to join my scavenger hunt? Today we're gathering unstable nuclear waste. Right, I need to, for the weekly, I need to buy stuff at a people's vendor. Okay, how many bullets do I have for this thing? I could get a few more cells, maybe. So the trick is, you go to somebody who's selling ammo, like this guy. And then you just, um, so let's say you need to buy or sell 20 items, so you just buy one ammo 20 times and you're done, so. Cheesy, but it works, it's cheap. Some people get paranoid and think maybe you're trying to hack their vendor or something because you're only buying one ammo at a time, but yeah. of me and I need 23 drink nuka cola good thing I do that all the time plant a crop probably not gonna do that oh the tannery bench what's this okay I didn't know that was a thing good thing I checked so it looks like I'm going to be picking up that cold shoulder. Anybody who's still watching this, trying to go to sleep to my voice is in luck. Okay, these are always good to have. Should do this. So what do I need to do again? Like kill three cryptids or something like that with a cold shoulder, right? I'll have to check.
kill three cryptids with the cold shoulder. All right. Let's go kill three cryptids with the cold shoulder. Oh no, are you in my camping spot? You're not. There you go. Sweet. So if you've been watching my other episodes, you'll start to notice like a... Um, What's the word for it? There's a certain pattern for where I go to get stuff. But um, the cryptids, the, uh, the sunken railroad is an easy place to find cryptids to shoot. I should be able to get it from here. should always take your vacation days. How many... okay, I've got enough shotgun shells. Drink a new cola. That thing's probably gonna blow up. There we go. Where did you go? A fusion core? Mm. Tell me I did it already, it's not possible. What? Kill three cryptids for the I don't remember killing another cryptid, but um I'll take it. Let's take a regular right away and then sit in some uh, in some radiation. Oh, 
One second thought, I should have done um, diluted because that's a lot of radiation I took away. I had a feeling one was going to be here. I didn't want to chance it though. Oops. So anyway, anything else left? Uh, complete a daily up. I mean, yeah, whatever. Drink a Nuka Cola. Again, whatever. Complete five to seven weekly hunt. Week two. Oh, so it just started. Okay. A little bit too much, maybe. Yeah, that's about right. That is what I have the Brahmin milk for. The black powder rifle. That's worth noting since I just uh, noticed it. Um, they break pretty fast. Um, especially considering like usually damage goes up or you get more damage depending on how many hits you put out. So I could fire a hundred times with this laser and the condition would not go down. It would only go down if I scored a hit. However, the black powder rifle, um, that goes down really fast considering how few uh, times you end up hitting things. Robots have pretty good armor, especially on their heads. Their heads aren't really their weak spot, so... Mm, I don't know if that's good or bad. If I hit him in the arm, it might have been a uh, one-hit kill there. Oh, it's these guys. These guys are the, uh, the fake brotherhood. It's got a raider. It's got like a what is that like a? T-45 chest, maybe? T-45 arms. Our are ambiguous. Do not be afraid. Dead, dead, dead. Talk to Barry. Hey, you. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Somebody we bought something. are the Brotherhood of Zeal. And we require a donation of five caps to further our immoral claws. Guys? I don't think he's buying it. Barnaby, I'm scared. Hold me. You haven't seen the last of us! Cheese it! No, it says they're hostile. And they could shoot them, but, um... Honestly, they're just kind of pathetic. I'm not going to. Anything else when I'm here? I can fix that. That was a fun one. That was the one we did last time. Someone's shooting my face up, so uh, let's go take care of it. for something I could uh, 
heat that wouldn't give me too many reds, but would still, um, is that reds? No, of course not. Uh, just has reds, right? Yeah. When you switch to another set of perk cards, the reds don't, um, switch over correctly. Spawn over here. It could be anywhere on the road, too. Oh, maybe it was the Brotherhood of Zeal running around. That could have triggered them, too. Ah, uh, uranium fever is going on. I mean, plant a crop in a workshop, I could do that. Should be a glowing uh, death claw over here. I was gonna shoot it with my black powder. That's oh, matriarch. Okay, half her health. I don't think that was a crit. Let's see, here's the problem. Good thing she's dumb and blind. There we go. The week just started. I feel like I could finish up that um, that drink Nikocoda one right now if I wanted to. I could pretty easily find like 12 Nikocodas to drink, but yeah, it will get done um, on its own. Fiberglass, interesting. I have been running across Medax quite a bit. Okay, I'm thinking one last encounter. One last something, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and end the stream there. So yeah, if you have a black powder rifle, and maybe you're thinking of... Um, putting some legendaries on it. I mean, Bloodied is always going to be good, but if you get instigating, very, very good. Go ahead and just do that. Um, and other stuff, boy. So, anti-armor would be good. Um, instigating, arguably, you would get more damage out of it, but it would be even more of a niche kind of weapon. because the enemy would have to be at full health before you hit it, but you would get a lot of damage out of it. Um, obviously anti-armor and explosive, you know, that, that would be the dream right there. Uh, plus 50% vets criticals, always good if you're a vets critical build, obviously, but yeah. Other than that, um, 
I don't think okay it's a deal I don't think if you're gonna run around with it um, without any legendaries it's part particularly worth it um, I think it's still gonna be good um, another good thing too with these uh, black powder if you get the plus 250 while reloading that's also good because the reload is so long and um, if you do end up taking a hit or two during the reload animation you'll have that extra defense going for you which is pretty handy my first playthrough I had one I think it was like anti-armor and then plus 250 defense while reloading and it was great um, you could just stand there soaking up damage like it was nothing and it hits pretty hard not the run and gun playstyle but uh still make sure I got my crit here Wendigos are pretty tough. If you can stop moving, just stop. Stop it. Stop it. He's trying to attack me still. Stop it. What was the, um, the last gun that we used? Oh, right. It was the, um, single shot bloodied the single action revolver and that took it ended up taking four hits against a glowing windigo which I thought was a lot but um they're pretty tanky well anyway I did say that would that would be it for the stream bye bye no oh. no <laughs> the one downside but yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun, like, doing that much damage, you know. 259 is great, but 10 times that much in one hit, yeah, it's pretty fun. Alright, uh, thanks for staying to the end, if you did. Uh, hopefully this was pretty informative, gave you an idea of what to expect. Um, Riflemen in general, pretty fun, worth it. Um, black Powder Rifle. Pretty fun, worth it, but maybe not as like a um, like a single carry. You know, like I wouldn't main the weapon personally. That's just me, though. All right, catch you guys later for the railway, bloodied railway. I mentioned I would do that. And what else is left? Pretty sure I've done all of these here. Done this, done that. And done that, done that, done that, done that. Done it. I mean, actually, I'm lying. I didn't do the chainsaw, but I mean, that's. Eh. Who doesn't know about the chainsaw by now? Well, shoot, this is going to be the last episode next time, so we are going to have the railway and. What should I do as a backup gun, huh? I'll tell you what, the handmade, last time I did this uh, handmade, we had 10 rounds. And um, now we have 25. So for a change of pace, instead of the only 10 rounds, we're going to have 25. It will be our backup. And our main heavy hitter is going to be the Ultra Sight Railway Spikes Railway Rifle. Enemies. Alright, catch you guys next time.